Okay, update number four, or video number four, Augs Lift AUXX 2x4 Attic Lift, Garage Attic Lift. I have went ahead and built the, the base for it. I've got one side mounted and installed, the cable installed, the center piece is installed. The base is very, very nice wood. It's very straight, um, sanded. All the boards are numbered so you know where they go together, which is kind of nice. As you see, they all have a number that match together. I had to buy my own bolts to fit flush in here because, well, they seem to have forgotten to include the bolts to mount the, the, the blocks here. But that's fine. I, it cost me eight bucks. I'm not out much. I am going to put the camera on the tripod and go ahead and mount the rest the other side and show you how pretty easy it is. Once that's done, I got to go up in the attic, plug it in, and well, that's then a moment of truth and see if it works. And then once that's done, then I got to cut the other. The other cable ties on the on the cord up there, or on the uh, on the cables, release it, and then do the adjustments that are needed. But then I'll have to tighten these these up as tight as I can, and tighten the, I should tighten those up first. But uh, I'm going to put it on a tripod and uh, go ahead and start working and see what. Let's flip this around here. If I can flip it around, can I? All right, well, what we'll do is we'll put it in a tripod like that. So you can see what I'm doing. Hi kids. Alright, we're gonna tighten these up because we gotta do the tight end bit. So Obviously, you want to see if it's level. Me personally, I don't care. I think the floor is on level. I'm pretty sure my floor is on level. Anyway, we'll get that set up. I'm going to do it and level it without the base on it. So what I did on the other side is to try to keep it as level as possible. I don't know if that's going to be possible. This side seems a little lower. But to try to minimize extra work. These things just kind of slide in like that. And you slide the cables in. You punch your bolts through. think it should be a little adjustable there yeah okay so this really isn't that hard 
Their instructions are terrible. They claim they have detailed instructions and they don't. They're not detailed, detailed at all. There's pictures. Detailed instructions to me is where it has picture per picture, picture per steps, and um, for every step that you gotta take, <coughs> it should have a picture by it and a description of everything and how it's done. There's very little writing in these instructions. So again, to me, that's a that's a piss poor design, or that's a not design, but their instructions. They need to update their instructions. That's for sure. They need to give more updated instructions for people that aren't as aren't mechanically inclined and won't be able to figure this out. Because there's going to be a lot of people that shy away from this this uh, this unit because of the, the poor instructions. Me, I'm, I'm, you know, I think I bought this over, I think I bought this over about a month ago, end of December it arrived, and it is now end of January, it's January 29th, and I'm just getting around to installing it, trying to find videos of this, of this thing working, and people install it is next to impossible. Okay, so I got those pieces on, you want to kind of get them straight before you take them up. And I kind of want to get the, the cable up and snug. So now then what you do is then you have adjustments on top and all this weird stuff. It's a it's a funky design, but I think it's gonna be really nice once it's once it's installed and I'm able to lift stuff up. Like one, my motorcycle jack, my floor jack, stuff you don't use on a daily basis. So these are just straight like U-bolts, nothing fancy. They just slip through and they hold the cable in place. And you're not supposed to tighten these till later, I guess. Until after you get it level and once it's level, then you can go ahead and put the little back plate on. I'm using the washers because they sent them, they're extra. I'll put some washers on the back there just to make sure. hand tighten these. I'm going to tighten these up to make sure they're kind of straight. I thought I was going to have to adjust the cables up top. show you in a minute here that I don't have to do that I don't think now these bolts I bought are one quarter one quarter inch and they're recessed so it's sit but I had to I had to drill out the holes in the in the blocks just a smidge which which is fine. All right. As you see, it's pretty simple. The bolts just get 
screwed on, like nothing fancy about it. I believe the bolts that they used are just regular, they sit pretty flush on the outside, which is fine. I went with buying, buying my own bolts. These here will need to be tightened after I get this thing plugged in. And uh, I'm gonna put you back on the, uh, on the tripod or, but this is it, this is the base. And the, uh, the base they give you, they don't give you a bottom, you have to, I got, got an extra drywall, so I'm gonna fabricate drywall. But the base they give you is, I think a quarter inch piece of, piece of plywood. I may go with a half inch or five eighths. I'm not sure about the weight. Yeah, this is a quarter inch piece of plywood. I'm a little thin for my liking for what I'm trying to do here. It's nice, it's sanded, but uh, I might go a little thicker. They got the, the pilot holes drilled, or if I have to put another quarter inch piece right over the top of it, I will. But that's that for, for that part. Um, time to plug it in and see what happens. See, this is the part that I'm afraid of. Plug it in, and then it doesn't work. Most work of waiting and wondering, not sure. But uh, well, we're going to find out in a real hurry. In a real hurry. Climb up the attic, see what happens. <laughs> And lo and behold, I've got nothing. I'm going to turn the video off and double check my connections and see if I got them right. <laughs>